Okay, working on something a little bit different here today. A door lock controller. I've never really messed with these. So my boss gave me just a brief way of how this may work. And uh, figure it out. So this is the old lock here. Get rid of this lock. Yeah, get rid of this old lock here. Because people are jamming screwdrivers in the door frame to unlock this. So that's getting replaced with a new lock that door company put in, but they did not wire it to our PDK. So, yeah. My boss wired in the PDK years ago, doesn't remember how he wired it, so he pretty much told me to figure it out. I've never really messed with this stuff before. So I just had to figure out how to get this through here, through there, to this door lock, down to the new door lock. So there is a a uh, a relay wire, normally open, normally closed, goes in there, and goes down, and then. It goes up into here, well, it actually goes to here, into this lock. The relay wires are spliced together, and one goes up back into this lock, and the other one goes into here to actuate the door opener, because it's a handicap door. So, finally figuring that out, um, used a tone tester, it was very handy find where these wires go. So it makes a noise. You got your receiver here. Makes that noise. And you put it here. Oh, it must be right there. And it must also be connected here. So um, that's our tone. So we found the path of these wires. Now we just have to figure out how to wire this existing lock with power. The power comes from here, I have that undone. This has its own separate power. And there's also the power for the PDK that goes into there to go out of this door lock down this, down to here. So still trying to figure that out. Um, so I'll uh, get back with some updates for you once I figure this out. Okay, so after a few hours of messing with this, I couldn't get the wire into the frame. There's something in here that's blocking it. Finally figured out the wiring. I um, have to wire it normally open since this is fail safe. So when power is killed, um, it locks. So it's a secured building. So won't be able to use the relay inside the PDK, but it's still connects down there and goes into this box with the uh, push buttons and the keypad works. So I'm wiring this, wiring it into this uh, little relay programmer module that's already in here. So I'm gonna do relay number one here and normally open. So when it closes, it will open the locks on that. So. I finally figured it out. This was start at 10. It's almost 4 o'clock. Yeah, can't wait to get this done. Alright, so we don't need this board anymore. We still need this to power that, but no more with this somehow. I have no idea why it works so. And let's see here. Show you how it works here. So normally open sends a signal out of that box. Press this button. And then locks. So and then when it comes back it will this has a latch in it that will latch into here. So Got that to work. So, 
this is unlocked right now, but yeah. All right, so got it to work. This is locked. So with, what's happening before people were picking the lock up here and with a screwdriver. So you can't do that with this lock. Um, pretty much impossible. So yeah, you can't do that. So we hit the button here. That locks. And then when this comes back, that clips back in. Oh, that's working. And closes pretty quick. So yeah, um, I was supposed to use the PDK to rewire that, but it was very complicated, very old wire in there. So I just um, just used the original relay inside that, and it worked. So now I'm just gonna clean up. It was very late, probably 4:30 or something like that, and. Uh, yeah, I'm get everything cleaned up, and I am going to Chipotle and going home. So if you want, want more videos like this, just subscribe, like, and share with your weird nerdy friends. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.